Hey guys, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to do a little tool unboxing and review. We're going to check this thing out. Um, the good folks at Alloy, Alloy Man has, have sent us this half inch drive cordless impact that um, has a 20 volt lithium ion battery. Okay, so it comes with the, the impact gun, uh, a, one battery and a charger, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and tear into this thing and see what we got here. Um, so there's the cover. I'm just gonna leave that right there. You might wanna read some info off of it. Actually, like this one right here, it says that it has 480 foot-pounds of torque on this thing, okay? And zero to 2,000 RPM. So we're gonna lay this out of the way and let's go ahead and check this thing out. So we're gonna open it. I'm gonna flip the little lever, see what we got in here. So let's open this baby up. Oh yeah, comes with a instruction manual and we will just bypass that for right now. If we have any things that we want to go back and read, we can. Looks like it comes in a couple different languages. Let's just get down to the nitty gritty here. Let's see what we got in the package here. We'll go ahead and get everything unboxed. All right, now I got a pair of scissors, big old pair of scissors here. Okay, so here's the charger. We're going to go ahead and I think I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery before we really get started. I'm sure the battery needs a charge. So we'll hook this up here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of it here. This must be the battery. Let's go ahead and open him up, take a look. Feels like a pretty hefty battery there, okay. And it is a 4.0 ah battery, okay. So that should give a little bit of good battery life there with that one. Um, looks like it just simply hooks right in like this. Oh yeah, like so, just like that. Push the um, button to release, okay. And matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's pause the video. Let me plug this thing up and get it charged. Okay, we plugged it in. Light turns green. Let's throw the battery on. And it looks like the light turns red. So let's let that baby charge for a little bit. Okay, so while that battery is charging, let's go ahead and unbox the main item here, the actual impact, okay? And so there we go, guys. Now this thing is uh got a little bit of weight to it but it's not too bad not too bad at all it's definitely heavier than all of our three eighths cordless impacts that we have okay and i kind of assumed it would be since it is a half inch drive so let's lay this aside for a second and we'll go ahead and see what's in these other packages this looks like some sockets of some sort let me cut into here and see what we got Okay, so here we go. All right, yeah, it does look like we have several sockets here. And hang on just a minute, and I'll tell you what sizes that they are. We have a shorter 22, okay. And I like the fact that these are thin wall, because a lot of your new vehicles have uh, wheels to where you gotta be able to fit around the aluminum wheel, you know, without scarring the wheel. So I actually, in my toolbox, I have a set of thin wall sockets just for that. So this will be another set as well. 18 millimeter, we have a 21, a 20, a 19, and a probably a 17. Yep, a 17. Okay, so that will definitely cover most um, lug nuts on most vehicles out there on the road today so that's awesome and the reason i'm talking about lug nuts guys i have been an automotive technician for 34 years 34 year career and i'm going to tell you right now the half inch drive impact whether it be air pneumatic or cordless typically is used to um, remove lug nuts, okay? Lug nuts, axle nuts, things of that nature is typically what you're gonna use your half inch for. Um, you may be 
um, getting in there on some uh, caliper bracket bolts and stuff like that, okay? Um, that's the main uses for a half inch drive. We're gonna put this thing to the test today. We're gonna do a tire rotation on our Buick. Okay, you can bring the camera back down. Let's see what we, we got some more extensions here, okay? So we got like a one foot, a three inch, and like a six inch extension. That's great. I love having some extra extensions. And um, that's good that it comes with a tool. They're gonna give you, um, probably this one here will be used mainly for doing like lug nuts and stuff. Sometimes you might have a need just to get, get away just a little bit further. Why does that not want, oh wow. This is a pin, it's got a pin in it, interesting. Oh wow, that is very interesting. Okay, okay, that's very interesting that there's, or all of them are that way. Okay, they all have a pin in these things. Oh, I see why. Oh, this is neat guys, this is very neat. But I have typically not ever had a tool like this before. But you see the pin that comes with the socket here, okay? You can actually put the socket on to the tool, just like so. And like so. Now typically, I, I'll probably use, I probably won't ever use this feature, but it's pretty neat that it has it. So it does have a... Uh, a spring ring around the end of it that actually helps hold the socket on and i'll show you that with some other sockets but if you want to put the pin in here and this makes sure that it won't come off and then you can put your o-ring back on top of that that's actually pretty cool not practical for everyday use in a shop but it's kind of a neat feature to have okay and i say that because if you're working in a shop, you're gonna be taking wheels off of cars all day long, and they're all gonna be different sizes. You're gonna have a, a, a Nissan that comes in, that takes a 21 millimeter socket. You're gonna have a Chevy truck that comes in, it's got a 7.8 socket on it, or 22 millimeter. You're gonna have a Honda come in, it's gonna have a 19 millimeter. You're not gonna have time to pull that pin out, and I think I just dropped it. I'll find it in just a minute and switch these out and put a pin on here, okay? You're just gonna be switching sockets. It's a neat feature that it comes with, but probably not something that you're gonna use every day. You're probably gonna end up taking the O-ring and the pins and just keeping them in your toolbox, okay? And that's fine too. But, so guys, here's everything the kit comes with. We're gonna pause for a little bit. We're gonna grab some of the 3 eighths um, cordless impacts that we have and kind of compare them as far as the size of the unit and the weight of the unit i don't have a half inch to compare it to but i do have some pneumatic half inch ones that we can kind of compare to so let's do that while the battery's charging up so stay tuned okay we're back over here at the charger we just wanted to check right quick to see what the status on our battery was because we noticed that the light over here actually had turned green okay and then we turned it around this way and we noticed that on the battery, you have a button you can push and it shows you the strength of your charge. So we're fully charged right now, guys. So let's hook this baby up. All right, guys, with the new battery here, we're gonna pull the trigger for the first time. Bam, there we go. Feels pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna test it here in just a moment. But before we do that, I'm going to grab a couple of our other uh, impact wrenches, 3 8 and a half inch pneumatic, and we're just going to kind of compare the weight and how they feel, okay? So stay tuned and we'll do that. Before we do that comparison, guys, uh, Nathaniel was looking here. We noticed that there were some lights lighting up in this area right here, okay? So this thing um, has three different adjustments on it, okay? And it's marked a low, medium, and high, okay? So I looked in the book here and it says basically there's two, there's a low and a higher torque setting, okay? But I don't know if the book is actually comparable to this actual unit. This could have been an upgrade, but we're gonna take a quick look here. We're gonna see where we're set at. Okay, let me go back and make, move it back to, I think this is the lowest setting, okay? And you can see the speed that that actually turned at. I'm gonna hit the button. 
And now it's a lot faster, okay? And then we're gonna hit it one more time and it actually does not burst, okay? I won't hold the trigger down. It gives a little burst, it automatically stops on its own. A little quick burst, okay? And it'll automatically stop, which I kinda like that feature. That might be really good for doing lug nuts, you know? Um, so I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna definitely test this out when we get ready to go out to uh, do a tire rotation here in a little bit. But right now, let's go ahead and talk about comparison. Here's a, here's a 3 8 um, Makita that I've had for over 10 years. As you can see, it don't sound quite as uh, uh, bold as this one. Sounds like it's got a little bit more power. Uh, we also have a, let me find it. Now we got everything that we own out here on the table, folks, okay? We got everything that we can compare it to. So we got three cordless 3 8 drive impacts here. This is my oldest one. This is a Makita. I know it will not take a lug nut off, okay? Um, this is a Ryobi that we've had for not too awfully long. Um, we're still... Uh, well, actually, I do have a good opinion of this. This is a pretty good unit right here, but it will not take a lug nut off, okay? And then this is Nathaniel's DeWalt. It's a good unit as well. And I will say the DeWalt and the Ryobi have more power than my Makita because the Makita is like 10 years old now. It's about wore out. But anyway, it's still hanging in there. I still love it. Okay, so this unit here, half-inch drive, and with the fact that it says it's 480 foot-pounds. I got a feeling that it is going to be more comparable to these bad boys right here, okay? Now, these are pneumatic impact guns. This is a uh, Ingersoll Rand 231C, I do believe. And uh, it will definitely pull, pull lug nuts off. Okay, now we also have a, this is actually a Harbor Freight um, impact gun. And the last couple years that I worked professionally in the business I, I use this every day this sucker here was working pretty good um, it's got pretty decent power as well so this tool that we're demoing here today should be more comparable to these two instead of the 3h drive um, friends there okay now here's the deal guys um, being a tech for 34 years I know what half inch impact drive or half inch cordless tools can do what they can't do um uh, there are some of the big tool brands you know the ones that come around in the trucks they sell a impact that is six seven hundred bucks okay it's bigger it's bulkier it's heavier but yes it does cost six seven hundred dollars and i decided years ago that I didn't want one of them things because they were heavy. I used a couple and I would just as soon drag, uh, drag an air hose around an automobile and take off lug nuts with one of these bad boys right here. These have typically more power and they, they're not as heavy as, their, as the tool truck brand cordless impacts, okay? So I think I'm gonna like this one today. If this thing here, I love the weight of it, it's not too bad. And if it will take lug nuts off and put them back on, this tool here will pass my test today, okay? Because that's really all that I would probably use it for, okay? And maybe some bolts here and there that a 3 8 just don't have enough power for, okay? I like the size of it, I love the weight of it. So let's go ahead and take it on out and let's put it to the test. Stay tuned for that. Okay, hey, we're out here by our Buick here. We got it up on jack stands and we were getting ready to do a tire rotation. And guys, just to let you know, just safety precautions. If you are doing your own tire rotation at home, make sure you use the proper equipment. Use a jack and jack stands. Do not ever crawl underneath the vehicle unless it is supported with jack stands properly, okay? But that's a, a video for another day. Today we're just going to do a tire rotation and test out this cool impact, okay? So we've got it set on the highest setting. I went ahead and put it on the high setting. I figure these are torqued probably 80, 90 foot-pounds. And we're going to set it pulls them off. So let's try it now. 
Oh wow, it pulled it off with no problem. That did not even, that did not even struggle one bit. Oh, I love it. All right. That is working really good. So we're gonna lay these right here. I'm gonna put it on the slow setting to, to do another wheel. And let's see how that does. Let's move right over here. Just move right up here, Nathaniel. And I've got it on the lowest setting. Let's sift that back these lug nuts off, okay? And look at there it does, okay? It's got enough power on the lowest setting to break a lug nut off, loose and pull it off, okay? All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move it back onto the uh, higher setting just for our um, demonstration here, just speed things up a little bit. But I'm very impressed so far, guys. Oh, now I've actually got on the burst action, okay? That actually, I moved it too far. It does the little burst. Let's see, if that, let's see how that works. Wow, hey, look at there. That was actually the perfect length of burst to back the whole lug nut off. Oh, not quite on that one. Got to hit it again. But I kind of like that. That's pretty cool to have that little feature where um you know it kind of stops on its own let's leave it set that way let's go right up here to the last one i kind of like that there we go was that enough not quite gotta bump it again but that's okay just gotta hit it twice no big deal okay Guys, it still has plenty of power. The battery, battery life seems to be hanging pretty good. So let me go ahead and move these tires and, uh, and then we'll zip them all back down. Okay, with all the lug nuts, wheels, tires, wheels and tires are already moved to the new position. And guys, if you want a little tip on rotating, typically on a front wheel drive car, I take the ones on the front, I cross them to the rear, I take the ones from the rear, and I move them straight forward, okay? Re rear wheel drive car, typically I do just the opposite, or I'll just go front to back, okay? No big deal, just a little tip for you out there. Now, what I'm going to use here <clears throat> to tighten these back up is a torque stick. A torque stick is basically a like an extension that is made to where it only torques up to whatever it says it does. This one here is an 80 foot pounder, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull the socket off. We're gonna put the um, torque stick on and put the socket on this end of the torque stick, okay? And then we'll go around and tighten everything up. I'll go ahead and put it on the highest setting, okay, while I'm here. And because uh, I want it to give it the highest setting that it can, because the torque stick is going to keep it from over tightening. Okay, so let me get down here and knock these out, and we'll do a star pattern. You know, bam, 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 and then we'll just get all these tightened up real quick and see how this thing holds up. Oh wow, that feels nice. All righty. Let's move on down here. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to the other side of the car. Okay. All right, all right guys, we got everything tightened back down. Now, typically um, I will take, I will lower this vehicle back down to the ground and I'll use a torque wrench to put the final torque on my lug nuts. That's just the way I do things. 
Some guys will uh, go with just a torque stick, but I like to take it to the extra extent. I'll put a wrench on it here in a little bit. So let's go back inside. Let's talk about my thoughts on this tool and I'll tell you how you can get, your, get yourself one today. Okay guys, we're back into the shop now and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay these other cordless impacts out of the way for a minute, okay? Because we're not talking about them, okay? We are talking about this Alloyman half inch drive, 480 foot pound cordless impact wrench, okay? And looks like it has a one year warranty as well. I wanna go ahead and let you know that too. One battery, 20 volt with charger, okay? So let's just go ahead and bring the camera back up here. We're gonna talk about my thoughts on this thing today. I'm actually very impressed, okay? Um, all I needed this to do was take off lug nuts and put them back on. Because if you're working in the automotive industry, that's what you're gonna do most of. You're gonna change oil every day and you're gonna take tires on and off, okay? You're gonna be checking brakes. You're gonna be maybe doing a brake job. You're gonna be rotating tires, balancing tires, mounting tires. Those tires are coming off every day, okay? And if this, this tool here, what I like about it, lighter weight, okay? It may, this battery may not last as long as, as the big expensive tool truck one, okay? But it may, I don't know. We, ha we don't have any time to like test this over and over yet, okay? I'm bringing you this video very quickly. We'll definitely bring another video six months from now. We'll use it a little bit more. We'll give our thoughts on it then as well. Um, but the, the weight, I like it. Because the ones off the tool truck, I'm telling you right now, uh, they're heavy. I didn't like them. That's why I never bought one. The price is too high on those suckers and they're too doggone heavy. I would just soon drag an air hose around with one of these bad boys hooked up to it. But now I love the price point on this thing and I would use this. I would buy this and use this until it tore up, okay? And if I was still working in a shop every day um, because it would be nice to pull them lug nuts off and not worry about an air hose, okay? And the weight of that right there, it's not going to wear you down, you know, after you pulled uh, tires off of three or four vehicles in a morning, you know, carrying this sucker around, uh, uh, a heavier one would actually, you'd have to have some good muscles, you know, to take care of that. You have to work out at the gym. So right now, my thoughts on this unit right here for $89.99, I'd buy one all day long, okay? Uh, and I would use it and I would uh, utilize that one year warranty. And hey guys, I, I, this thing gets a thumbs up for me, okay? I'm happy now knowing, I'm very thankful that Alloy Man sent me this to review for them, okay? Very thankful for that. And, uh, and I'm giving it a positive review. And it's not because I got it for free. It's because I really like this, okay? I'm happy to know now that I have a cordless tool that I can do my tire rotations out here in the driveway and I don't have to drag an air hose halfway down the driveway, okay? Now, now it will be handy for some other things as well. Like maybe the next time I do a brake job or something, I'll put a swivel on here and maybe have a you know 17 or 18 for reaching in there and taking the caliper brakes off. Cause see, look here, I can do that. See, this thing's not so heavy that I can't hold my arm out like that. Uh, the big cordless ones, they're, they're so heavy. I mean, you can't really, you gotta keep them in close, you know, and two hand them. I mean, they're big and they're heavy. The batteries are heavy. And um, with this one here, I can see myself reaching around, getting some caliper bolts off or something like that or reaching into a place. And I could probably get this one into a tighter spot than I could one of the bigger ones as well, okay? So guys, I'm happy to do this video today. Happy to bring you a product that I think is got a good price point. And I'll leave a link down below if you decide to get one for yourself. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We have a couple more tool review videos coming up in the next couple weeks. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.